situations, baseball IQ, you got to run around third. Defense is straight up. They're not playing infield in. Corners are not up. Straight up defense, and it works on a swinging bunt. They get Judge out at first, and they stop Soto from advancing. Now, these are guaranteed outs right here, guys, especially with base runners on. If you understand what you're doing, you're not going to waste your time with a base runner right here except to make him go back to third. Now, if Soto would have hung out for a little bit, I bet Real Muto would have thrown that ball to third base or start running at him to get him to commit back to third if there's an out that is available. But in this situation, right when Real Muto gets the ball, Soto heads back to third. So Real Muto did a great call. The catcher came up throwing. He did check the runner. He made sure the runner was not trying to advance on that before he threw it. And then immediately after the throw, he went and covered home plate. So risk management right here, you do not want to throw that ball to first base if that runner's coming home. You want to get that guy out. You want to get the lead runner in this situation. But if he doesn't present an opportunity to get him out, then you need to take the out that's given to you. And that's the one at first base in this play. First baseman's on this play. You got to cover first base. Pitchers, you guys are going after the ball. Second baseman, you guys got second base. I have this ball being a swinging bunt. He did not square around. It's a full hack. And in this situation, when it's a swinging bunt on the third base side of the field, the shortstop and the third baseman are going to read ground ball to them. And that's the momentum. That's the way their body's going to be going is towards that side. That's why I had the second baseman covering second base on this. Also, there's a right-handed batter up. Typically speaking, they have second base on a comeback or so. The shortstop's going to be deeper in the hole in this situation. All of it's working out. Everyone has a place to be. Executing outs right here, guys. This is awesome. Outfield's charging. They're backing up. Bellinger's there for first base. Trout's there for second. Harper's there for anything going to third base. Because there might be a throw right there at third base. And that's where the shortstop went to. This may be a rundown situation, guys. It's heads up baseball. But one of the simplest plays, plays in baseball. A swinging bunt to the catcher with a runner on third. Look the runner on third back. Chuck him out at first base. And then go cover home. First baseman, you might have to make a back pick to third. You might have to sprint them like sprint at them like Guerrero Jr. did, or you might have to you might have to come up throwing to home immediately after you get the ball at first. Heads up, baseball guys! Great job. Keep it up. Move it on. Situations baseball IQ runner on third base. It's a safety squeeze. Looks like Soto snuck in there. Wow, how did that happen? Let's talk about it. Safety sweet squeeze and suicide squeeze are the same thing, but they're different. In a safety squeeze, what you see Soto doing is trailing the third baseman. He's right behind him. He's even with him, just a foot back, just a foot in front of him. He never wants to get beat back to third by the third baseman. That's the whole point. And the other part for the base runner here is if the batter does not get the bunt down, you're expected to hustle back to third base and be safe. As you see the short stops there, there's gonna be somebody covering third base. When the first baseman and the third baseman crash, the second baseman and the shortstop go and cover the cornerbacks. Center fielder, you're going to come to second base. Right fielder, left fielder, you guys are backing up the corners. Catcher, you're popping up. But I think I need you to stay at home because we have that base runner, right? So you can't leave and go field this bunt. you got two guys right there on the corners. You have your pitcher there to field it. In this example, Soto beat the ball. He is safe. We don't get an out. It works. Wow. So as a defender right here, you have to be able to get that ball and flick it throw it toss it to your catcher as quick as you can catchers you're gonna have to tag the runner don't let him beat that ball to that home plate you guys gotta get it out right here but if it doesn't happen it's okay at least you tried to execute it right go get him the next time so if we see it right here safety squeeze he's not showing the bunt late 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 and he's not showing it early 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 it's right in between it's right in between, right when the pitch is thrown, the bunt's shown. It's not like the suicide bunt when you don't show the bunt until the front foot lands. That is the difference. It's almost like you're sacrificing yourself here, but you're not. You're more or less going for a bunt for a base hit, but you have to get it down. This is a sacrifice with a runner on third base bunt. It's a safety squeeze. We're trying to score the runner like they did here, but you got to understand the differences between a safety squeeze and a suicide squeeze. The base runners have different jobs, and so do the batters. Batters in this position, when you have safety squeeze on, you have to time when you show bunt perfectly, and you have to get it down on the ground. Worst case scenario is you pop this bunt up, and your runner on third base gets doubled up. That's the worst case scenario right here. Then you'd be out 
runner would be out of third. It's a double play. We don't want that. You got to make sure that you bunt the ball or foul the ball off. You have to do something. You can't let it go into the catcher's mitt. Base runners, when it's a safety squeeze, you're going to be trailing the third baseman as far down as he lets you go. That's where I want you to be. You have to be close enough to home to score on a bunt, but you have to be close enough to third base to get back in case the bunt is not executed. Super tough play. Guys, let's get it done. Moving on. Situations baseball IQ, runner on third, suicide squeeze. Soto is in there, isn't he? He's out. Guerrero Jr. got him. They both crashed. They read the squeeze. Yellick didn't put his bat out there. He didn't show bunt until the pitcher landed his front foot. Yellick did an outstanding job, but the defenders were reading it right when he squared, right when the ball was released, right when the foot landed. Both corners charged in as fast as they could. They were there before the bunt was bunted. Great job, guys. If you can get that read, you are learning something and you are doing good on the baseball field. Suicide squeeze, bunt defense right here. The difference compared to a safety squeeze is this. Base runners at third base. Your job is to act like you're not stealing. Get the same lead you would, but a little bit more if you can. Typically speaking, you get a lead as far off as the third baseman is from third base. So if he's 10 feet away from third base, you get a 10 foot lead if you want to. But you do not want to cause too much attention to you. You don't want to make everybody nervous that you're going to try to steal home. So you want the attention off of you first off. Second off, you're going to time your secondary shuffle the normal way that you would. But right when the pitcher's front foot lands, you start sprinting home. That's exactly the timing that I need you to do. Right when his foot lands, just before he throws the ball, right as he's letting go, you take off to first base. Because at that point, everybody's eyes are on the ball, not on the base runner. So it's kind of like you're hidden. No one sees you. The catcher is not looking at the base runner. He has to find the ball because the ball's coming at him. So don't leave until then. If you make the catcher late coming to home plate, you're, you're going to make it a better chance of you scoring. Plus, if you leave early, you're going to give the corners that opportunity to see that something's going on before Yellick squares. If you leave, they're going to crash. They're going to, they're going to know there's a bunt, and they're going to be there, and they're going to get you out like, like Rero Jr. did here. But Soto, I mean, you must have done a great job. I think the defense just got you here. Second baseman, you got first. Shortstop, you got third. Center fielder, you got second in case there's an error on this play, and the base runner that bunted the ball takes two. So all the bases are covered. All the risk is covered. We need to get these outs, guys. Third baseman, if the ball came to you, you're flipping it to home plate. Remember, guys, if this ball is still moving, field it with two hands and get rid of it. But in this case scenario, if it's still moving on the ground and you can go down with one hand while you're fielding it, flip it to the catcher. That's probably best case scenario and the quickest way to get rid of this ball. You can also do that with two hands. That's more, that's safer. So you're dealing with risk right here as you're fielding this ball. But remember, suicide squeeze, it's going to be bang, bang, no matter what. Great job, guys. Get this down. Runner on third. Suicide squeeze. Batters, don't show that bat. Don't show that bunt until the pitcher lands his foot. Base runners on third. You ain't leaving until that pitcher lands his foot. Show it as late as you can, guys. Don't let them know that you're doing this. And that's the way that you execute a great suicide squeeze. Plus, don't forget, batters, you have to bunt the ball. If he throws it over your head, I don't care. You have to get a piece of it. If he throws it in the dirt, you have to bunt it. If he throws it right down the middle, you have to lay down a great bunt. You've got to bunt it on the ground. Do not bunt this ball in the air so they can catch it. Typically, we're not going to be doing this with two outs. All I got to do is turn around and throw the guy out at first. So this play is only done with zero or one out in the situation of the baseball. Guys, suicide squeeze. Here we go. Situations baseball IQ, Cole with a pitch, hard round ball right back to the pitcher. They get him out, back pick to third base. Nice job, Cole. Way to look the runner back. Remember, pitchers, in this situation, if you get a ground ball with a runner on third base, your first thing you do is to check out the runner, look him back. And what look him back means is that you literally look at him with the ball and make him go back to his base. Now, if the base runner is so far off in this situation and you see him committing back to third, which you did your job. You looked him back, and you can get an out and throw the ball to third and get him out. Third baseman, way to be there on the plate. This is why you gotta be there straddling that bag with your target up, ready to lay down a hard tag. Soto's out to dry. Cole's got it, throws it back to third, he's out. That's textbook 
ground ball to the pitcher, runner in third, corners are in, middle infield's back, and the pitcher fields his position and gets the lead runner out. Great job. Base runners on this, if the corners are in, and the middle infield's back, usually what that means is you're gonna be told by your coach that if the ball goes up the middle, then I want you to score, I want you to go if it's on the ground. But if it goes to third base or to first base, or to the pitcher, I need you to stay and don't advance to home because they're gonna get you out. So what Soto did here in this situation, he's took a secondary lead, the ball's hit on the ground up the middle, he doesn't wait for it to pass the pitcher. He just goes and then the pitcher feels it, he stops, which is another mistake, and then heads back to third and he's picked off. It's over, great job. Base runners in this situation, if you're at third base and your coach has, okay, I'm not going to home on third, I'm not going to home if the ball's hit to the pitcher or first, and you got to make sure that it goes through the pitcher and to the middle infielders before you take off. First baseman's on this play, you got to cover first base. Second baseman, you're going for the ball on this. Short stops, you got second base on this. I mean, there's no play at second base, but I always like having somebody on the base. All right, I always like having somebody on the bag in case something happens. After this throw goes to third base, say it's an error. Well, Judge, the guy that hit the ball, he's going to be rounding first. He's going to head to second base. And I don't want that base to be open and us being late getting there. So I always want somebody on the base, pre-plan everything, risk management, that's how we do it. Third baseman, you're covering third, straddling out of bag, throwing down a hard tag. Left fielder, you got to back up this play to third. You're going to have to hustle and get there. If this ball gets past him, I need you there to throw him out of home because he's going to try to advance on an error. Center fielder, you're backing up second base. Right fielder, you got first base side. You guys got to be there, outfielders. This is why you guys are so fast, because you, you guys run so so much. Hey, guys, this is great job. Textbook play right here. Looking them back, getting them out. Awesome job, Cole. Way to throw a strike. Way to throw a ground ball. Moving on. Situations, baseball like you got a runner on third base. Ground ball hit to the first baseman. He brings it to home, tags him out. Man, all right. Got him out. Great job, Guerrero Jr. Way to be there. Real Muto with the tag. All right, guys. Remember, infield in means the game's on the line. We don't want him to score early or late. It doesn't matter. I'm telling you, if infield's in, infielders, you got to knock the ball down. Whenever your coach says infield in, bring the outfield in. Make sure everybody's in the right position. Catchers, that's your job. Shortstop and center fielder. You guys are the captains on the field. Make sure everybody's in the right spots at the right times. Okay, pitchers, in this situation, you know with infield in, this runner's most likely going on contact because the game's on the line. We're defending against home plate. You don't want the base runner on third to score. So you're gonna be throwing all ground balls here. Strikeouts, that's all we're doing. We don't want a deep fly ball. We don't want anything because he's gonna score on that. Now with two outs, we're not gonna do infield in. This is with no outs or one out right here. Catchers, you gotta communicate. Once you see this base runner right at contact coming home, step up to the plate, call 444, tell your first baseman to get rid of it. Second baseman, you're going after the ball right here. I need you to keep going after it until the first baseman fields it. Be ready to cover first base in case this runner at first base takes a turn. Be heads up baseball right there. Short stops, your momentum's gonna take you to the ball, but then after that, you see the play is going home. That base runner that was on third base that's going home on the play, he may stop and go back to third base and there's gonna be a rundown. So I don't need you just hanging out, I need you to get over to third base side. Third base, when you gotta cover third base for the exact same reason the shortstop's coming over there. There might be a throwback from the catcher, the base runner might stop, and now we gotta run down. There might be a back pick from the first baseman, you don't know what the base runner's gonna do until he does it. So I need you on that bag. Outfielders, you guys are backing up, you're charging in. Make sure that all of you guys are heads up and reading that ball where it's going. You do not want a, a bad throw going by you guys. Be in the position, be at the right place, be heads up everybody. Everyone's got a spot to go to. Way to execute the outs. Way to throw a ground ball, Cole. Hey, moving on. Situations, baseball IQ, running on third base, infield's in, hard hits at the second base, and he fields it, looks him back, throws him to first, gets him out. Wow, nice job, Baez. Pitchers, in this situation, we gotta understand infield in. What does infield in mean? What that means is the strategy is that we don't want the runner on third base to score. No matter what, if any ground balls hit, the infielders are going to knock it down. We don't want it to get to the outfield in this situation. We have to stop any ground ball. So pitchers, remember, infield in situation, do not throw the ball up in the zone. We do not want this batter to hit a, a line drive. We don't want him to hit a fly ball anywhere. We want a ground ball. So keep the ball low, throw me a ground ball. Great job, Cole. Catchers in this situation, remember, infield's in. Now, with the infield in, 
you got to make sure that your outfield's in also. We don't want a huge gap in between the infielders who are on the infield grass line and then say the outfielders are playing normal depth. There's going to be too much room in between the infield and the outfield. So when the infield's in, the outfield has to come in. Make sure all your guys are in the right position. Also, on this ground ball, your eyes go directly to the runner on third. If he's coming home, you call out 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Infield's in. Their job is to not let the runner on third score. Stop any ground ball, and if he tries to attempt to go home, we throw him out. And remember, catchers, this, this is a tag play. This is a look back and a tag play. Infield in, you check him out by his great job. If he's going home, you chuck him out at home. If he's not, then you go to first and get the out. First baseman's right when the ball's hit, you find the bag, get a target up. You're not sure what Baez is going to do at this point. It depends on the base runner on third. So you got to be ready for anything. It's heads up. Short stops, you're going after the ball. Back up your second baseman if you can. I know it's infield in. This timing right here on this play. Tatis Jr., man, you were really fast to go back up Baez in that. Do the best you can. After the play, you can go cover second base. That's fine. Third baseman. Right when the ball's hit, you got to cover third base. Baez might come up throwing to third because Soto, the third base runner, might be too far off. Baez might read that. Might chuck the ball to you. Remember, this is a tag play. If you get Soto fo too far off and the ball comes to you, tag that runner out. Put that glove right in front of the base. Swipe and tag hard. Get him out. Show the umpire the ball. If you have time, throw him out of first. It's going to be a tough play, though. Outfielders, remember, you guys, if the infield's in, you have to come in, too. Here's another reason why. Besides the gap between the infielders and the outfielders, if Judge crushes the ball all the way to the outfield warning track, and Trout goes down and runs it down and makes the catch. He's out, right? But still, the runner on third is going, he's going to tag and he's going to score. Remember our strategy with infielders in. It means the game's on the line. It's a tie score. We're down by one. We're up by one. It's at the end of the game. We can't afford to let this runner score. So a deep fly to the outfield is going to score him even if the outfielder catches it or not. So it doesn't matter. Depending on the situation, depending on the score. Now, every run matters, but understand what I'm saying. Regardless if the ball's deep, they catch it, or they don't, the runner on third is going to score anyways. If the infield's in, our strategy is to stop that runner from scoring, so the outfield is in, trying to take away any in between hit. So they hit a ball that's not hit hard, kind of flails out there. It's a, a low line drive that's, you have time to catch. The outfielders are, they're playing in. They can go get that, or, they can get it and let it hop on the ground, bounce one time. The runner on third base is going to tag. The outfielders are playing in. They're going to be on that ball quicker than if they were playing normal depth. So now they can come up throwing to home and probably get the guy out. To understand infield in, this is a ground ball to second base. Baez does a great job. This is textbook right here. He looks him back. Base runner on third was not on contact. If he was on contact, that means he's going no matter what. And Baez is going to come home. So everybody has a position to do, everybody has a job to do, and a position to be in. Make sure that you guys are in the right spot, make sure that we're all heads up, and we're getting these out. Execute, produce, and understand the strategy of infield in with a runner on third when that run matters. All right guys, moving on. Situations, baseball IQ, runner on third base, hard hit ground ball to the shortstop. They look him back, throw to first, throw to home, double play, nice. Pitchers in this situation, you have a runner on third base, you want to keep the ball low, and you want to throw a ground ball. You want to stay away from letting the batter get a high pitch and drive it to the outfield. If there's zero or one out, the batter's in this situation, you want something up in the zone, and you want to drive it to the outfield so that the base runner on third can tag up and safely score. Catchers, in this situation, you have to block every ball, you have a runner on third base, don't let one buy you. When this ground ball's hit, you immediately have to look at the runner on third base. If he's coming home, you want to yell out four. You want that ball coming to four, unless there's two outs. But if there's no chance to get this runner at four, then we got to go to one. So you have to be heads up. First baseman's ground ball's hit. You need to find the bag. Get a big target. Get that foot on there. Be ready to come up throwing to home, just like in this situation. Guerrero Jr. did a great job. Second baseman's, I need you to go after the ball. Cover second base. You could be backing up first base in this situation. Uh, but that would kind of be odd right there. You just got to go for the ball. Hold down second base. There's really not a play out there. Be ready for an air on the throw to first base. And a comeback throw to you from the right fielder or the first baseman. Anything can happen. I need you on the base. Shortstop. Come up throwing on this play. But remember, you have to look the runner back. 
if you just come up throwing to first base and you see that that runner on third base is too far off or he's attempting to go home and you could get him out, you're going to miss an opportunity. So make sure you have your eyes right on that runner at third base. If he's in the middle of third base and home plate, I want you to sprint to him and make him commit to one of the bases with the ball in your hand. And right when he commits, I want you to throw it to the bag that he's going to try to advance to. That would be a rundown situation. But here you see Soto, he stops, he reads the play, he makes sure that Tatis Jr. does not back pick him or come at him. Once he throws the ball to first, then Soto goes home. This is a typical base running, good thing right here. Great job base running Soto. Too bad the speed wasn't there. Could have been safe. But hey, this is baseball right here, great job. Third baseman, you're going after the ball right here. Once you go after the ball, then I need you to try to get back to third base in case that base runner at third does not attempt to go home. He's stuck in a rundown. Tough play for the third baseman's right here. It's a read play. You can't just let the shortstop have it. I need you to go after the ball. You could have gone in front of the shortstop or behind him right here, but regardless, guys, always go after the ball. Try to make that ground ball play. Try to get it as quick as you can. The quicker we get the ball in our glove, the quicker we can execute outs. Outfielders, you guys are all crashing in. Harper, you got to back up that ground ball until it's fielded. Don't stop. Center fielder, you're backing up second base. Right fielder, you got the whole right side of the field. The ball's coming over there. Be ready. All right, guys, get this play down. This is an easy play with a runner on third. No outs, one out. Looking back. With two outs, we're automatically going to first base. Moving on, guys. Situations, baseball IQ. Runner on third base. Cole with the pitch. Hard hit to third base. He looked the runner back. He's going home. Got him out. Double play. All right. So let's check out the third baseman on this play. Ground ball hit right to him. You see the base runner's not moving. Right when he throws it to first, he goes home. Guerrero Jr. has the heads up play. Gets the out of first. Comes off and throws it to home. And this is a perfectly executed double play with a runner on third. You get the force out at first base. The guy that hit the ball, you throw him out at first. But before you do that, you check to make sure the runner does not advance or try to advance to go home right when this ball is hit. If the base runner does attempt to go home, third baseman and first baseman, I want you to throw this ball home. Now, first baseman's a little different. You could step on first. There's some other situations that can go involved that are involved with that. But in this exact example, hard hit ground ball to one of the corners. And that base runner goes home. Throw him out. Get him out at home. That's what we want. If you can't get him out at home, like Rendon is far back. He's not playing infield in. I mean, Judge is up. You know, he's deep. He's far back. But he does have a cannon. He can get rid of it quick. So if you're that good, you can get that base runner out of third. Do it. But if not, then we're coming up to first. But you always, always, always look that runner back. All right, guys. Get these plays down. Make sure everybody's in the right spot. This is a runner on third. They look him back, get the out at first, get the out at home. First baseman, you're on first. Second base, you've got to cover second base. Shortstop, you're going after the ball. You might round out and come back and cover third base for the third baseman. If there's a play that ever comes over there. Basically, after this throw, the play is going to be done on that side of the field. Unless the base runner that's attempting to go home stops and gets him a run down, that's why the shortstop or the third baseman, whoever's closest, whoever can do it, get on third base as quick as you can. Left fielder, you're backing up left side. Center field, you got center field of the, uh, of the whole field. You're backing up everything. Any ball that goes to center field, second base, you're there. Right field, you're backing up first base on the throw. Catchers, you got to be loud and vocal. Step up to the plate. Be ready for the throw from the third baseman if the base runner does attempt to go home on the ball on the ball hit. Or when he does attempt to go home, when the third baseman throws it to first, I need you ready to go. Put down a hard tag. Block that plate. Do what you got to do. Get that out. Great job. Moving on, guys. Situations, baseball IQ, runner on third base. Judge crushes one past the third baseman all the way down to the left field line. That may be a triple. Harper's on it. He gets it into the shortstop. Who's the cutoff man to third base? They hold him at two. All right. Great job here. Cole, the pitcher. Everybody in this situation that is a pitcher understands that with a runner on third, the batter is trying to hit a deep fly to the outfield to tag the runner up. They're trying to drive the baseball unless there's two outs. If there's two outs. They're just trying to get a base hit and try to score the runner and get on base. So understand that. In this situation, Judge does a great job. He crushes it into the outfield. We're not worried about the base runner now. He's all he's automatically going to score. That's automatically a double out there, maybe a triple. That base runner at third is going to score. So we change our attention not to the base runner at third. We have to keep Judge off the third base. So we line up just for that. Pitchers, in this situation, you have to back up third base. Catchers, you have to make sure that everybody's lined up for third base and we're defending it. Be loud, be vocal. If somebody's not in line, you got to yell at them, get them in line. Make sure that ball doesn't break away from anybody. First baseman's in this example, 
it's a ground ball in the infield. You got to find first base and get ready for a throw from the third baseman. Especially if there's two outs with a runner on third, you want to get that out so that run does not score. So, Vladdy Jr. finds the bag and then he moves out of the way for Judge to take the turn and then he immediately backs up second base because this is not a single he's trying to turn into a double. This is a double for sure that he's trying to turn into a triple. So Vladdy gets off of first, he follows the runner, and he's the backup man for second base along with the right fielder. Second baseman's in this, you got to cover second base, shortstop, you guys are the cutoff man. You got to hustle over there, back up the play, try to get the ball from Rendon if he misses it. Once it goes through, then you're the cutoff man. I need you out there. You know your outfielder's arm. Third base, you're covering third base, obviously, in this play here. I want you to dive and stop this ball, though. With a runner on third base, infielders, you guys got to knock it down and get the out at first, depending on the situation. If the runner goes home and you can get him out, get him out, unless there's two outs. Left fielder, keep the throws low. Center field, you're backing up. Right fielder, you're the backup on the whole right side of the field. Everybody has a place to go. Keep it up, move it on, guys. Situations, baseball IQ, runner on third base. Hitters, in this situation, you are looking for a ball that you can drive to the outfield. You're looking for something up in the zone that you can hit deep enough, far enough for your base runner on third to pack. That's what we want. That's an RBI, it's a sack fly. It doesn't go negative against you. It only adds to your RBIs. That's all we're doing. Don't swing, swing at anything low in this situation, base runners. Uh, hitters, base runners in this situation, when you see the ball up in the air at third base, your hitter has done his job if it's deep enough. You need to head back. Right when the ball's hit, you see it in the air. Put your foot on the back. Put your left foot on the back so your body's open towards the field, right foot in front, arms ready to run. Right when the center fielder catches it, boom, take take off. It's a race to home plate, going feet first, sliding hard, all the way through the base. Pitchers, on this situation, you have to back up home. I need you there in case the base runner decides to stop halfway, but the ball's still coming and then gets past the catcher, and then the base runner starts taking off towards home. I need you there to defend pass ball to the catcher. You never know what's going to happen. You don't know what the base runner's going to do. Be there in case. First baseman, I need you to be the cutoff man. Line up the throw. Help the center fielder out lining up. And if the catcher says to cut it, cut the ball and get it home as quickly as you can. He might say cut three. Be ready. Second baseman, you turn into a first baseman on this play. In case there's an error out in center field and there's still a throw going home, and then that base runner that hit the ball is going towards second and there's a run down or a back pick, I need you covering first. Short stops on this play, you got second base, stay there, don't ask for the ball from the outfielders, you're only gonna get a back pick in case there is an error, in case something negative happens for the defense in this play. Third baseman, you're covering third, you're there in case the ball comes to you, in case the ball's cut to you, in case there's a run down situation. Outfield, you, you guys have to be aware of the situation with a runner on third and anything up in the air, you know the guy's tagging. You have to get behind it, and you have to run through it. You have to have a clean throw hop and throw this ball all the way to the, to the base, all the way to home plate. This is the only situation where it may be okay to completely miss the cutoff man and throw it high all the way home. Because if you catch it, there's no other base runners on that can hurt you. So if you make an error on the play, there's only one guy that's going to score. It's the guy that you're trying to get out. So that's that terminology and strategy on this play right there left fielder you're backing up third base in case there's an error run down something like that happens right field you're backing up the center fielder in case he does drop this everybody has a spot to go great job moving on situations baseball iq runner on third base judge crushes a ground ball soto heads back to third base but then he scores this thing's a double he's trying to get three bam they get him let's check out what happened all right pitchers in this situation with a runner on third and there's a double hit that base runner is going to score, especially on a ground ball. Man, he's not waiting up. There's no tag play. He doesn't have to freeze. It's on the ground and it's through. You see it go through, and that's when Soto takes off. So that guy's done. He's scoring. What we're defending against now is the batter that hit the ball, the base runner. He's coming to first. He's rounding first. He's rounding second. Harper gets it in. And look, this is for the big fields. This is the double cut on the big fields right here. There's other examples where I have runner on first or nobody on. And a double hit to the left field line where just the shortstop goes out and third base covers. Or I just have the shortstop and the third baseman out there and nobody on third base. Everyone can be used. Everyone can be used for a different scenario. Or you can say, no, I want to do this one. This is the right one. Do whatever you think is right. But I do know this. When it's on a big field, you need both your middle infielders going and, and being there. I mean, these guys are fast. It's going to be a long, long throw sometimes. Deep left field. 
So pre-game, I mean, middle infielders, you got to know what kind of double cut you're going to do here. If it's going to be the shortstop and third baseman, and second baseman cover third, we can do that too. That's not a problem. Then, then the right fielder covers uh, second base when we have a runner on first because the first baseman is going to be the short cut. That's the only difference in these double cuts on this ball right here down the left field line when the first baseman, look, you see him trailing the runner compared to him going down and being the short cut because there's nobody on first in this situation. We're not defending home plate. We're defending third base. We're defending the guy that bat the ball all the way into left field. We're, we're trying to stop him from getting to three. So hope I'm clear on that. This is the way to do it. They're all right if they work. Everybody has a place to be. I mean, that's the bottom line. Pitchers, you guys are backing up third base in this situation. Hopefully your third baseman makes the play. I mean, as you see, everyone goes to the positions. First base goes to first, second goes to second. I mean, like, but he got through. So now everybody transitions into double triple. I mean, that thing must have scorched by our third baseman right there. It must have been hit hard. So catchers in this situation, you got to pop up. You got to be vocal. Let the guy that's on third base score. Then after that, you know, you got to be ready for a throw. You got to be ready to back up. You got to be ready for a rundown. All that stuff may happen here. First baseman's with nobody on and a double sit down the left field line. You guys are trailing the runner on this big field right here. You're trailing this runner. You're also trailing the runner on a small field unless the second baseman is holding down second base. You only have the shortstop as the cut here on the short field, and that's okay too. But you can become a backup for second base. Second baseman's on this one. You see Baez, he heads right to second base like it's going to be caught. So in case there's an error on the throw to first, there's second base is already covered. So there's all this pre-planning on this one play being that ball being fielded. And after that, it transitions into a double cut. Short stops, you're the primary cut in this double cut right here. And left fielder, man, you got to get this ball as quick in as you can. There's no crow hop. You pick it up. If it's rolling around, do it with two hands. If it's, if it's stationary in the ground, palm that ball, get up and throw it. No crow hop needed. You can do a little shuffle. I mean, don't lift that leg and don't take a lot of time. Get rid of it within under a second. Center fielder, you're backing up. You're the confidence boost. Tell him where to throw. Right fielder, in this situation, depending on what your first baseman's doing, you're going to be backing up second base or you're going to be covering second base. All right, guys. Hey, get these plays down. This is a double, possible triple. We were defending third base from Judge, and bam, they get him. Moving on. Situations, baseball IQ, runner on third. Judge crushes the ball to right field. Bellinger's underneath it. He throws it home to Guerrero Jr. to home. He's safe. Wow. Pitchers, in this situation, with a runner on third and a blast to the outfield, just go back up home plate. you got to be there in case something happens. Pass ball, there's an air in the outfield. Run down on third base. Just get down there. Catcher, step up. Be ready for a throw. You have to communicate to your first baseman. Tell him to let it go through, to cut four. But we all know the ball is coming home. There's no other play on the field. They made the out there. There's no other base runners. The ball is coming to you. You've got to get that guy out. First baseman, you are the cutoff man. Be ready to listen to your catcher. Make split second decisions. Field that ball on your glove side and get it home. As you see here, Guerrero fielded the bad throw. It was offline by Bellinger. Second baseman, you're going to act like a shortcut to second base. We do not want the ball coming to you. We don't want you communicating 2-2-2 two, two, two at all. We don't want you saying anything except 4-4-4. Four, four, four. The reason you're out there right now is because in case there's an error on that fly ball and the base runner that hit it tries to take two. If there's an error out there, the base runner on third base is going to score. He's tagging up. If there's an error, that means he's going to be going. He's going to score regardless. Now we're defending second base against the guy that hit the ball. Short stops, you're covering second base. Uh, you know, real quick, I want to say second baseman, you could take over first base here too. It's on your coach. If you see where the second baseman could take over first base here, but it's a fly ball, the chances of that uh, being caught are very good, and the chances of the base runner being on first base in time safe, you know, we don't, we're not really defending first base here. But that's the reason there. Third baseman, you're blocking the view. We, we wait here with Rendome. He's blocking the view of the base runner on third tagging up. He's getting in line of the eyes of the base runner. He's tagging up in the ball. Trying to make him leave early or leave a little bit late so he doesn't quite see right when the outfielder catches the ball. Remember, base runners, if there's no out, nobody out or one out, and there's a fly ball hit and you're on third base, you go and tag. You want to put your foot on the bag before he catches it. Have your foot on the bag while he catches it, and right when he catches it, right when that ball goes into his mitt, you're free to advance to the next base. So get into your running position, get your foot on the bag, get ready to run and wait for that ball to be caught. But if the third baseman's in your way, you're gonna have to look around him, get out of your position, and you may be leaving early or you may leave late. Be ready for that. It's a good play, it's not Bush League, it's not like a fake tag. This one's okay in my book. Left fielder, you're backing up the left side of the field. Center fielder, you're backing up the right fielder. Everyone has a place to be. 
place to go. Outfielders with a runner on third and you see a fly ball, man, you should be hungry to get one of those, get behind it and chuck that guy out at home. This is one of the best plays in baseball right here for base runners and for outfielders. All right, guys, moving on.